Most gardens have some dry shade at the foot of walls where foundations draw water from the soil or under eaves where little rain falls. Trees also create dry shade as their roots take up a lot of water. As a general rule, shade lovers with large leaves, such as Rajasia and Hostas, are best avoided when planting in dry shade, as such lush foliage requires a continually moist soil. Discover some of our favorite plants to grow in dry shade, including picks for flowers and foliage. Number 1. Ladies' Mantle Ladies' Mantle is a medium-sized, mounting perennial hardy to Zone 3. It grows 1 to 1 1 slash 2 feet tall, with lime green, medium-large leaves. Ladies' Mantle produces chartreuse flower clusters in June. Its flowers are good for cut or dried floral arrangements. There's not much involved with caring for ladies' mantle. It's a very carefree plant and doesn't require any special attention or fertilizing. Regular watering is only required when the plant is located in full sun or during times of extreme heat. Number 2. Columbine There are numerous species and varieties of columbine. They generally grow about 2 feet tall and 1 foot wide and are hardy to zone 3. Columbine have light green, fern-like foliage and produce drooping flowers attractive to hummingbirds. Columbine cultivars are available in a variety of colors from whites, yellows, blues, and reds to bicolored. Columbine plants aren't too particular about soil as long it's well-draining and not too dry. While they enjoy full sun in most areas, they don't like it very hot, especially during summer. Number 3. Siberian Bug Gloss This clumping, long-lasting perennial spreads from rhizomatous roots and has dark green heart-shaped leaves. Small blue flowers with white centers rise on stems in spring. The bloom period lasts for about four weeks. Although Siberian Bug Gloss is a slow grower, the species will eventually spread out and make a nice ground cover. The flashier variegated varieties are a bit slower to fill out yet provide interest and color all season. Number 4. Yellow Corridales Yellow Corridal is characterized by mounds of delicate, fern-like foliage and striking yellow flowers. Yellow Corridales is perfect for shady borders or garden beds and is even great as cut flowers. The extraordinarily long blooming period of the yellow cordalis is one of its most attractive features to blooming from mid-spring until early fall or even as late as the first frost. Yellow cordalis needs consistently good moisture during the growing season in order to thrive. Number 5. Vinca Minor Tough, low-maintenance, and pest-free, Vinca Minor has pretty broadleaf foliage and flowers. It is also useful for providing ground cover and is known for its creeping habit. Vinca minor vines most commonly put out a blue flower in spring, but the color can also be lavender, purple, or white. They may bloom occasionally in summer, too, though the summer display will not be nearly as magnificent as the spring display. Number 6. Sweet Woodruff Sweet woodruff is a creeping, mat-forming perennial that is commonly used as a ground cover in shady areas. It bears pretty clusters of white, star-shaped flowers in the spring and has very fragrant, lance-shaped, dark green leaves. Sweet woodruff is exceptionally easy to grow and readily adapts to a wide range for soil and moisture conditions. This plant spreads easily and can become invasive so plant it where you can keep it under control. Number 7. Foam Flower The foam flower is a native wildflower that got its name from the masses of foamy white to pinkish flowers that emerge on long, thin stems from a dense mound of foliage in the springtime. The flowers are undoubtedly the most spectacular aspect of this trouble-free ground cover. But even after the long bloom of four to six weeks is over, Foamflower is an attractive plant year-round. Its semi-glossy leaves often have reddish variegations along the veins or spots in the center. In areas with mild winters, the foliage is semi-evergreen and sometimes turns reddish bronze in the fall. 
Well, that's all for today's video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for supports our channel. Also, you can turn on the notification bell for latest videos from us. Well, see you in the next interesting topics.